Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Cullivan and today I am going to show you how to submit an assignment on Schoology. When we first get started with school and Schoology, we'll be working a lot together. But eventually, I will be giving you assignments that you will have to do all by yourself. This video is going to help you understand how to do that. Now, I'm going to click on Ms. Sawacki's classroom this time instead of Ms. Cullivan's classroom so I can show you what it looks like to be a student. So we're going to pretend that we're going to Tuesday and we're going to ELA work, okay? And oh, look at that. We have three assignments that we have to get done today, boys and girls. The first one is a journal prompt. So I'm gonna click on that and you're going to see what happens. There is an assignment here and it says, use the sentence frames and word boxes to complete the journal writing. So I'm gonna click on my document and I'm gonna give it just a minute and you'll see this a PowerPoint coming up. Oh, look at that. It says, how was your weekend? My weekend was blank. It was blank because blank. And then there's some words here, awesome, amazing, stinky, cool, boring, fun, very busy. First, then next, after that, and finally. Now this is a picture of the assignment, boys and girls, but I can't type on this. I'm going to go over here and click edit. And then I'm going to be patient. I'm not going to press any more buttons. And then it's going to pop in a version of PowerPoint. You can see my name's already up there, Lisa Cullivan. And this is Monday's journal writing, okay? You don't have to type your name in and see this word right here. It says saved. It's going to automatically save it for you as well. So you don't have to go to file and tell it to save or worry about where it's going to go. It's going to save it for you. So here's my prompt and down here in the yellow box it says click here to type your response. So I'm going to click there and I'm just going to delete those words there and I'm going to start typing. So I'm going to say my weekend was awesome. It was awesome because I got to spend time with my family. I love spending time with my family. We had a cookout and played some games. It was nice to be together. That's why my weekend was awesome. Okay, and there's my writing and now I'm done. I don't have to click save or anything. When you look up here, you'll see that now I have two tabs open. This is Schoology, see the little S? And this is the PowerPoint. I can just click over here to be back at Schoology or I can close this out. So I'm gonna close it out because I don't need the window open. Now I'll go back to Schoology. Now you don't see your answer there. So let's just make sure my answer got saved. Let's go click back to edit. Yep, there's my answer. I could even go in if I wanted, boys and girls, if you know how to do that. You could highlight it and you could even make your words bigger if you wanted. Um, you could even change the color and stuff like that too if you wanted. Up to you, but I'm probably just going to keep it the way it was. And I'll close that because I see where it says saved, so I know I'm saved. I'll close it. And then I'm going to hit submit assignment. Submit assignment means it's going to be sent to the teacher. Are, are you sure you want to submit the assignment? Yes. Now it's spinning, see it's spinning, and it says submitted, successful launch, and then I can click done. Okay, there's my answer now. I can see it, that's what the teacher's going to see. All right, so let's go back and try another one. I'm gonna go back to Ms. Sawacki's class, 
because that's where she's my pretend teacher. And I'm going to do ELA and I'm going to do a, the second assignment. Now remember it says make a character map for the people in Kenito's neighborhood. Click my document and wait a minute. Here it comes. There's my document. Do you remember what to do next? Can I start typing right now? No, I cannot. I have to go over here to edit. That's right. Now it's going to open and I'm going to be able to type in there. Now, boys and girls, you didn't read Kenito's Neighborhood yet. You're going to. But I will tell you that it says Guillermo. You see the yellow boxes? Those are the ones where I have to click in and add my answer. Click here and type your answer. So it says Guillermo is Kenito's Neighborhood. And I will tell you that he works at the bank. I know that because I already read the story. And then down here it says Donna Estrella. Who is she? And, and she works as a seamstress. And I know that, I'll delete that. She is Kenito's aunt. And then I'll go down here. And this one, uh-oh, this one I need to fill in a character, who the character is, and the character's job. So I will tell you that Mr. Lopez is, and who is Mr. Lopez? He is Dona Estrella's husband. And what, what, what character, what job does he have? And I'll tell you that he is the crossing guard. All right, so I have filled in all my boxes. My answers are all done. Do I have to click save? Nope, I just need to look up here. Is it saved? Yes, there's my name already. Isn't that awesome? Two things I can do now, who remembers? I can click here and X out, or I can just click over to this tab. I'm going to X out, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click Submit Assignment. Do I really want to submit? Yes. Done. And wait a minute. And there is my assignment. That's what my teacher is going to see. Now what if I realized I forgot to type crossing guard in that box and it was empty? I can go right up here to unsubmit and it will bring me back and I can fix it. You don't want to do that too many times, but you could. All right, okay, I fixed it and now I'll tell it to submit. And I'm done. Very good. I'm going to show you one more. So here I am in Schoology's and I go to my classroom. Today is Tuesday and I need my ELA work. And this one is plural nouns. So here I am, here's the assignment. It says, read the story, then choose a word from the box that goes with the sentence and make it plural. Hmm, what do I do next? Click my document, very good. And waiting for my document. Sometimes it feels like a long time, but be patient. Here we go. Okay, so here are the words and I'm gonna drag them to where they need to go. Last summer, I went to three parties. At one party, we made a big fort out of cardboard blank. Cardboard glass, hat, box, game, party, hutch, cardboard box. Ooh, Miss Cullivan, you forgot to click edit. I can't answer any questions until I click edit. Now I can drag that down here and make it say boxes. We made a big fort out of cardboard boxes. We played fun blank at every party. 
We played fun games. So see where it says drag the word to fill in the blank? I'm going to drag the word to fill in the blank. And this says we played fun game. No, I want it to say we played fun games. Very good. So I would finish this page, boys and girls. Check to make sure it says saved. Close it out and submit. Do I want to submit? Yes. I don't want this video to run too long. And then I can go back to Schoology. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you. Bye.